The knot we're going to go through now is a rolling hitch. And this is a very useful knot should you need to unload a winch without allowing the line to slip out. For example, you may have a riding turn on your winch drum here. And before you can undress the winch to sort out the riding turn, you must transfer the load onto this rolling hitch. So let's have a look. So, when you're tying a rolling hitch, it's important that you make sure the piece of line you're going to use is and that has enough strength in it to take the load from the winch. So, in this example, I'm going to put a loop around the winch base here, and that's just to stop this line going out any further. We're then going to go into tying the rolling hitch itself. So as you tie the uh, line, your intention is to wrap up the piece that is going to the winch, progressively putting more and more turns, covering up the piece that is going to the winch with each turn. So each time you're passing between the standing part of the line there that's going to the winch, you're rolling it across. You ideally want three, in an ideal world, four wraps around the line. The way we finish it off is just like a clove hitch. So on the final turn, we don't go between the standing part and the active line. We finish it off just like this. What you're going to see in a moment, as I ease the tension off this winch drum, so you should see, as this part of the line comes under load, it will start to kink the rope, and the more load that comes onto it, the tighter these three or four turns here grip onto the line itself. So as I ease off the winch, that is now completely freed up this line. I can sort out whatever I need to on the winch, or I can transfer it to another winch, and it's held tightly against there. To get this off, all you're going to have to do is fully dress the winch again, load it up as best you can, make sure it's locked with a couple of safety turns on, and that has unloaded this part of the rolling hitch, and we just reverse the knot. Once that's free, take the loop from your anchor point, and you're good to go.